What's up guys, Tevin here with another episode of Let's Play Marvel Spider-Man. Last episode, we MJ, found hey. Martin Lee. Just he came in. back to the Feast Center. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. Ooh. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Hmm, I wonder what's going on with MJ. She was whispering, and it didn't sound like she was anywhere she should have been. I don't know if she was with another guy or anything, but it sounded pretty suspicious. Um, anyway, we're going to start off by doing some collectible stuff first, and then I'm going to head over and do some story stuff. So yeah, we found uh, the evidence that we needed to convict uh, or t to tie Lee with what's oh, been going on. How are you? Parker, exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Right. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Um, All right, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and do this, because I haven't been in this lab in a while, so we might have some new uh, lab stuff we could actually do for research tokens and get that like fully taken care of. Maybe. It's been a while since we've been here, so so probably. Alright, so let's go see what Dr. Octavius has been working on. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. I actually... We're gonna know. It's not gonna let me. Oh, the arm's back. Well, it's a new one, it looks like. That was. No, the scope isn't over there anymore. It's somewhere else. What's this? Our though? first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, it looks like this mainly just gonna be story stuff for right now and then once we're done with Where that. Where did you get all this something. equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. What makes this time different? You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Uh. Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? <laughs> Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a- Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I, uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. Ooh. 
Ooh, someone's starting to get a little stir crazy. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was the... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work, don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Okay, so now we got some more inside of exactly why he hates Norman. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. I really didn't do anything, but let's just reset the circuit just in case. It just goes down instead. Instead of four. And yeah, the voltage is too high, but we can probably fix out the. No, no. This way. Straight. Up. In. Give me minus three. No. Move that. Move that. Oh, okay, I can't remove that. Wow. Oh, there we go. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Yeah, since I don't wish to break it. did it next step neural interface that's a lot of work for you to do by yourself you sure you can handle it apparently not judging by today's debacle because <laughs> i still haven't found another job my funds are still i know it's okay don't worry i'll figure it out what's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world right to changing the world this <laughs> is from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Will it, though? Can I not really do anything? Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Your rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. 
Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Well, that makes sense, but you don't really want to. Oh wow! Literally all these is from AIM. Okay. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Mm. Oh, I can actually interact with these. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to take care of these before we leave, just so I don't have to come back here later on. All right. Cool. Logic controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. This. This. Power up to three. Down. Minus one in here. Do a plus three. Bring you up. Minus one. Bring it in. Alright. Well, that one's so difficult. These are awesome. So much more versatile than traditional fixed axis designs. And this one. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future. Down. Minus one voltage there. Change that one, make it curves to the side instead. Bring you over. Minus two for this. Over. Over. Be a big one. Curve up. To the side, you up. Our voltage is too high on that one, so let's make you minus three instead. Nope, still too high. Well, I'll make that one three. Can I make you a little bit higher? Two, there we go. And just bring it on inside. All right, not with that either. Now the prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool, and a little creepy. All right. Now let's take Doc it. Doc dove right in with the Ooh. intracranial interface. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's work those brain muscles here. Give me a minus one to start off with. These can be rotated or removed, so that's fine. Down. Curve you around here. Straight. Plus three. Curve up. Oh, that's interesting. I'll save that piece. that one. This way. Um, straight. This looks like a perfect spot for this. Oh, stop. Don't do that. Do that either. Go up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do that. Do this. I can't remove that, so I, I have to go this way. Maybe it needs to at least connect in order for the negative to actually take effect and disrupt that charge just a little bit. Um, I, wait, wait. I put down this negative piece, didn't I? So I can just change this to minus two. No? Why did that not work? Three? Alright, there we go. Revolutionary. But not a hundred percent stable. We need to refine this design. Alright. Well, now we only have two more of those parts left. Um, now let's go over to the, um... The stereoscope, I believe that's how it was pronounced. And do some of those analysis tests left. And you would think by now I would actually memorize that What's it's that? really over here. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, well. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they'd never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this. Alright, good. We only have two for this one, so that shouldn't be as bad. Doc's messing around with superconductors. Okay, there we go. Right, that one took a little longer than I expected, so <laughs> I'm going to be Very cutting that cool. part out. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Alright, so we have one more to do before we're done. <laughs> and then we're just going to go on into the city. Some kind of polymer. Oh boy. Alright. Okay. So that combination worked. Perfect. This is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Oh boy. <laughs> it really does get a lot more challenging towards the end. But anyway, those two things are now taken care of. Um, now we're going to quickly go back out into the world and get some things done as Spider-Man. We probably won't be able to get any story stuff taken care of with how long this has been going and with how much I have to cut out now. But we're at least going to do some stuff in the city in order to make some type of progress towards the overall percentage of the game. Just going to do some more collectible stuff like that. All right. 
So there was a pigeon. There was one more pigeon weapon in this area that we didn't get, but I don't really see it. Hold on. Let me wait hey, for this. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Oh, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Ooh. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance. All right, good. It's shut back up again. It's for a while until she calls. There we go. Alright. So yeah, sorry about that. Those last few puzzles have really been like great to Target acquired. Don't run! I won't hurt you. Alright, come on, little birdie. I have to tell you, Triple J, I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but after the city hall bombing, I gotta admit, you were right. A lot of people have been telling yes. me that, congratulating me, but I don't want congratulations. I would have loved to have been wrong. Better yet, for those in a position of power to have listened to me okay. and done something. Alright, all pigeons taking care of this area. We're going to go ahead and collect this black cat stake out as well as this pigeon. So we'll just put the marker there. Fast travel here. So you can get a little bit more, um, more content crammed into this video. So you can actually make it worth your time. That's to be honest, since we haven't really done any story part, you could probably skip over this if you really wanted to. There's not a whole lot that you're missing. And we got a trophy for, I guess, uh, using fast travel. But yeah, for the most part, there are going to be parts like this where it's literally just going to be just collectibles and stuff like that, just so I can make sure everything's taken care of. Let's go ahead and see what this thing up's about. 1030, okay. armored car is under duress. Need immediate response. No. With this reported location as the yard. Oh my god, are you serious? Pigeon. Getting away. Hold on, pigeon first. Demons robbing an armored car. These guys are looking for long-term financing. I wonder if pigeons eat spiders. Why do they have to put the pigeon right beside it? There we go. Alright, now I can go take care of the armor car thing. Oh good, it's gone. Alright. Never mind, we're gonna go ahead and take care of Black Cat again. Like we were originally supposed to. There we go. Again. Bet you're wondering why I'm back in the game. Straight and narrow just got boring. My target number's 50 million. Nice round number, don't you think? But if you catch me before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. <laughs> hey, MJ. Alright, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> cool, we don't have that many left for... I didn't... Did I already lock on that one? Was that the one I was supposed to get? No, it wasn't. Okay. Um... Wait, why didn't it go away?
Okay. It just disappeared. That's weird. Okay. Let's go ahead and help out with whatever is going on right over here. And the roof. Yeah, okay, the people in the top four apartments are really annoyed with you right now. Oh. No. Appreciation on the sable guys is all the reward I need. Okay. Or is that constipation? All units, all officers are in pursuit really of needs to go away. Because it's getting in my way. Please proceed to Rosevale. Yeah, so that's the other one I didn't do. Which is over this way. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I'm getting like really like turned up right now exactly like where I am and what's going on. It's good. I'm back on track now. Um, I'll probably uh, cut the video after uh, we get this last stake out. Full of Wall Street guys, target rich environment. Hmm. Got it. She's obviously familiar with these places, and that gives me an idea how to catch her. Right, do we still have a crime in progress? Nope. All right. Perfect. So, this is going to be where we cut the video for today. So, that's going to be it for today. Uh, if you like what you saw, please give me a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, to stay updated on future videos, please hit that bell icon to be notified when it's released. So I will see you guys in the next one. So I'll catch you later.